Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we'll be taking a look at the gdevelop thumbup object which is expected to be released with the next version of gdevelop which is gdevelop beta 104. So in today's video we'll be taking a look at it before it's officially released just to give you guys give and show you guys what it would be about. Okay, so on my screen right now, I have this. This is the complete um, gdevelop source code gotten from the gdevelop repository. There we go. That's it. You can get that. You can clone this and get the repository. Get the full source code on your desktop and you can basically mess around with the code. So the thumb up feature has been added to the master and it's just going through a few fixes to make sure it's ready as you can see um some twin commits to the master and okay so also the full doc documentation for the thumb up object is ready and there we go this is the full documentation for it we have the thumb up object and this contains everything which everything um connected to the thumb up and chit valve as you can see you have to get the software found and basically that's that's it you just have to get this create your map in thout and then i guess you save it as a dot json import it in gdevelop i guess this is it import it as a json file um gdevelop and it displays um accordingly just i guess right here at the top and the collisions from tau do not work in gdevelop yet i guess that's there we go that's the known limitations and it should be somewhere around um, yeah, there we go. Unfortunately, collisions from tau files are not supported. So therefore, you have to create this hitbox. That's why we have this hitboxes here, which should, um, which should signify various platform types. Like here we go. We have the red, which is platform. We have the green, which signifies the ladder. We have the, which is the jump through. And basically, in the end of this, all you have to do is add an event to hide all this object, so you don't have to see this. And all you would see is the main map. So basically, that's it. Now let's take a look at this in cheat develop. I'll minimize this, and since I have the source code, first of all, I need to start this up. I'll head over to my new app and open this in the integrated terminals. So all I have to do is just go with yarn start. And there we go. So it should open cheat develop in a development mood, which we can edit and get our changes. So since this has been merged with the master branch we did evolve master branch we can take a look at it directly from this okay so this should take some time and i'll be back once it's done okay that's done um as you can see extracted most of the files and now we have it running on our local and also on our network so basically i'll just open up my local and um, follow the link that should open up in the local host as local host and Okay, so here we go. Now we have this running in my browser. Let's try creating a new project. Let's take a look at the examples the thumb up comes with. Okay, let's open it again. Oh, wait, where is the videos tab? Something's not right. Okay, okay. Oh, I see. Um, it looks like the video tabs tab has been moved. The video tutorials tab has been moved into the tutorials tab, merging everything. I guess they're all tutorials, so. You have to place them all in the same tab. So let's try. Let's take a look at the thumb up example and um, let's go thumb map. Okay, so it comes with two examples platform up with thumb map and the thumb ups made with thought editor. So, okay, so let's take a look. Let's try opening that. Okay, something's not right. Check the path. Your is correct and do 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 evolve and that it was not removed okay you know what let's try opening this as an electron app and i'm gonna just go to my npm script and run electron window we go i'm on a window so i'll just hit electron window and this should open it up in an electron window and this should open it up as an electron app 
Okay, that's done, and we now have our Electron app running. As you can see, that's the logo, and it has GDevelop in it. So let's take a look at the thumb up examples in here. So let's create a new project. Um, let's go to the examples. Okay, here's the thumb up, and okay, so there we go. It comes with two examples, and let's take a look at the platform with thumb up example. Okay, so here's what it looks like. I'll take out the grid and okay, so here we go. Exactly what was on the wiki where you have to place this objects to serve as different platform types, just like we have this, the platform, the ladder, and this would be our jump true. This is the jump true, and that's it. Okay, so let's take a look at the thumb up or just add a new object. So let's search for this. Where is it? Experimental. Okay, there we go. So it's experimental. There we go. Displays a tau to base map made with the tau map editor. You can download um, tau from map editor.org. This is your website. You can download it. This to take you to its h.io page where you can download this. Okay, so let's go back and let's try hitting on a tau and let's take a look at the various options we get. So we have animation FPS. Animation speed scale, um, display mode, visible, layer index. Okay, I haven't really tried this out yet. Once it's officially released, I would create a, a detailed tutorial explaining all this and I guess Atlas image, something to do with the image of the thumb map. We have the thumb map JSON file and the thumb sets. Okay, so those are um, the options which come with this. Let's apply that and let's take a look at our platform map. Okay, so here we have the Atlas image and we have the um, Tau map JSON file. Let's take a look at the project folder which it created. There we go. Here it is. This is okay. This is my GDevelop project and this should be from Tau. Wait, yeah, there we go. This should be from Tau. So let's try opening this up in Tau. Like I said, I already have my Tau downloaded and installed. I'll open this up. Okay, so we have Tau open up here, and I'll just drag in this, which is my platform on map for Jason. So now we have this open up in Tau. This should be our map right here. There we go. So I guess you need to have some basic knowledge of Tau before you can actually use this. I will leave a link in the description of this video to the Tau documentation for you to read about it, and probably the best. Um, video on YouTube to your best tutorial on YouTube to teach you how to use Tau. So um, basically, I guess this should be the Tau set, and this is where you select it and drag in. And it looks really easy to make map with this, and you can just drag this, just hold down and pull this. It should be fire, sorry about that. And uh, there we go. That's the fire. It's really easy to make map um, game maps with this. You can just drag it. Select your tau set, this, uh, the tau set actually, and once you select it, you can just place it, place it, place it, no need to drag and drop again. And that's really nice. Okay, so let's try modifying this and re-importing it in Jitbug. Let's see what happens to our changes. And now we're just adding some fire here. And okay, this turned red because this is actually limited. Um, the map is not um, set to infinite. That's why it has a limit. Okay, so just place some fire here and I guess that's all. Okay, I'll place a ladder here. I hope I'm not messing this up. And I get the top of the ladder. And there we go. Okay, this looks perfect. Now let's take a look at it in GDevelop. Let's file and I'll save it as something else. I guess my platform map.json to to.json. This would be the second one, so save it as 2.json and minimize. Let's go back and let's select this JSON file. Here we go, here we have two. So, since we're using the same Atlas image, I don't think we need to change that again and apply. Okay, so there we go, that's the file we added. It's this plane right there. Okay, so there we go, it looks really nice. The tile map should make it much easier to make game stages. Okay, so let's let's take a look at the 
all the examples so fall create a new project and we'll just head back into my examples and file map okay here we go file maps made with the thought editor and i'll just click that okay so i think there should be an explanation for the thought let's preview this um drag left or right for more what's this okay guess we drag left and right yeah, it should be an explanation for this. These are the atlas images used by the file maps shown here. And there we go, this is it. Press left or right to control the animation speed. So there we go, I'm pressing right now and it's speeding up. And press up or down to switch display modes. Okay, let's go that down and up. Nice. Okay, so once I press up or down, it's switching the display mode one layer at a time. Press A or B to change the map. A and B. A, A. Oh, there we go. So we have two maps in here. Okay, drag left. What do we have here? Okay, so we have more here. Animations are supported. The desert tower map has compressed layer data. And this is a tile map with rotated tiles, a feature that is also supported in Chitavolve. It was made in LDTK level and deep, then exported in tile map formats to be opened in Chitavolve. Okay, this looks great. So, what this example is, is just explaining the whole tile to us. And okay, so this is something we should expect in the next version of Chitavolve, which should be Chitavolve 5, better 104. It would be nice, I guess this is a feature which everyone has been waiting for for a very long time. Okay, so that's it for this video. I just showed you guys the tile map feature, two examples coming with you, what the tile map looks like and how you would need the tout um, editor to actually run this and some basic knowledge of the tout editor, which I said I would place a link in the description to a really good tutorial explaining how to use this program called tout. So leave a link in the description and Okay, so just in case you like this type of video where we take a look at features before they are officially released by Chitavolve, um, like the video and comment below. And if we get a ton of likes on this video, I would continue with this type of videos. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching. See you guys in my next video.